G'day church family, it's Pastor Dan here, and to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. Now we're continuing to look at uh, some of these statements in the, uh, in the Beatitudes in Matthew chapter 5. And today we get to Matthew chapter 5, verses 4. Now I don't know when you've had a conversation with someone where it, you feel like it's a one-sided conversation, where you feel like you're, you're the one asking all the questions and you're the one telling all the stuff. And there's, there's, there seems to be no response from the other person. Maybe they're nodding their head or they're, or they're just looking at you with a blank stare. And you just, it gets frustrating after a while where you just go, they're just not even listening. I think sometimes uh, God thinks about that with us. You know, he's, he's given his scriptures here and he continues to talk with us. But we just continue to go throughout our life and we don't actually listen to him. Or maybe we listen to what the world or, or what other people say, uh, that it seems uh, like a good thing to do. But we actually ignore what God's saying. And, uh, and, and we get to one of those passages today with Matthew chapter 4. It says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. So much in our culture today um, talks about being joyful or you know, just having your life all together. That Instagram or, or, or social media worthy life where you can just post a, a photo every day and, and your life's going so well. There's nothing to be sad about, you know, everything is good. And we do it sometimes in churches as well, like all our services are so uplifting and, and so exciting. Oh, isn't it great to be in church this morning? Isn't it great uh, to, to have our God who, who is so amazing? Um, but then we get to a passage like this that says, blessed are those who mourn. Blessed, blessed are those who are, who, are, who are in a loss, who are, who are weeping and who are crying and who are in pain. How can someone like that be blessed? So we don't have to be blessed in all the good times always and all the amazing times. That the idea of blessing doesn't um, you know, work in that sort of situation always. You can be blessed when you are mourned, when you are actually at the lowest point, when you are weeping and crying. And you're blessed in that moment when you're crying out to God. So blessed are those who are mourned, for they will be comforted. The word comforted in, in the Greek almost uh, can sometimes actually mean blessed are those uh, who mourn, that is, who weep and have pains in life. And the word comforted can also mean ministered to by the Holy, Holy Spirit. You know, is it ministered to by God. Blessed are those who go through the pains in life because they are ministered to by the Holy Spirit. That is, when you're in pain, when you're in struggles, when you're in strife, you actually call out to God. You're actually open, real, and honest before God about, it, about your struggles. And you seek God. And as you seek God, you will be ministered to by the Holy Spirit. You will be comforted. You won't be comforted if you go and try and find something else uh, to, to fill that void of pain or to fill that void of, of struggle. But if you actually open it and leave it up to God, allow Him to minister into that. Allow yourself to sit in that space, even in the midst of pain. Don't be always seeking to find a way out of the pain or find a way uh, to be good again or, or to, to, to put that Instagram-worthy photo on but simply allow God to minister to you where you are in the midst of the pain. And it's there that you will be blessed. It's not when you get out of there or when you get through the pain, it's in the midst of the pain that you will be blessed. So let me pray as you are blessed in the midst of your pain today. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your word as it teaches and encourages us. Lord, it speaks to us. Lord, help us today to listen, uh, to not be uh, the one who is ignoring you, to not have a one-sided conversation, just you speaking to us. But Lord, allow us to listen to what you have today. Lord, allow us to open up in the midst of our pain in order to, to seek your blessing in that space. Lord, open our hearts, open our minds today to see what you're doing in the midst of all that we're doing. Amen. Keep walking with God. 
listening to him, trusting in him. Keep seeing where your, your points of pain are and, and opening it and giving it all to God. Now, don't keep looking for opportunities to get past it in order to, to get to the next good thing. Sometimes you have to sit within it. And keep looking for opportunities to bless others in that same situation. We'll see you soon.